In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate x to the third times e to the x, both using integration by parts and tabular method. Let's start with integration by parts. So first we have to define what our u and dv is. So our u will be x to the third and our dv will be e to the x. Let's write that down. Our u is x to the third and our dv will be e to the x. If u is e x cubed, what is du? du is 3x squared dx. If dv is e to the x, what is v? v is again e to the x. Antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x. So let's apply the formula u times v minus integral of v times du. Okay, so what is u times v? u times v is x to the third times e, e to the x minus, what is v du? v is e to the x, du is times 3x squared dx. So we can pull this number to the front and it becomes 3 integral x squared e to the x. It's better to write it that way. x squared e to the x dx. So what's our next step? Our next step is to use integration by parts again. So we're going to use integration by parts for this integral here. So here we have to define what is the u and what is the dv again. So x squared is our u, e to the x will be our dv. Let's use different letters. Let's use w for our u part which is x squared, our dv will be e to the x. If w is x squared, what is dw? What is the derivative of x squared? 2x dx. What is the antiderivative of e to the x? e to the x. So we are differentiating u, we are integrating dv. Okay, let's clean up and rewrite. So x cubed e to the x minus 3 times u times v, which is w times v. It will be x squared e to the x minus integral of v du. Here v is e to the x and du is times 2x dx. We can pull this number to the front. Let's clean up and rewrite x cube e to the x minus let's distribute this 3 or let's keep it there for now x squared e to the x minus 2 times what is left inside x e to the x left integral of x e to the x dx so what's our final step our final step is, is to use integration by parts again. So we have to define our u and dv. Let's use different letter, let's say t. This time our t will be x and our dv is again e to the x. So what is dt? What is the derivative of x? 1 dx. What is the antiderivative of e to the x? Again, e to the x. Let's apply u times v minus integral of v du again here for this integral. Okay, let's write up to there minus 3 times x squared e to the x, not e x, e to the x. Again, here e to the x. Let's write it smaller. minus 2 times, okay, u times v, which is t times v. It's going to be x e to the x minus integral of v dt. Okay, what is v e to the x? What is dt? 1, which is dx. Okay, let's finalize. So x cubed e to the x minus 
3 times x squared e to the x minus 2 times x e to the x. What is the antiderivative of e to the x? Again, e to the x plus c. Now all we have to do is just distribute these guys inside. Okay. So x cubed e to the x minus 3x squared e to the x plus negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 6x e to the x minus negative 3 times negative 2 is again positive 6 positive 6 times negative is negative 6 e to the x plus c. This is the final answer. Let's box it. Let's solve same problem using tabular method. What is tabular method? In tabular method, we are going to define what the u and dv is first. Our u is x cubed and our dv is e to the x. So this is our u, this is our dv. Let's write that down. u is x cubed, dv is e to the x. So we're going to differentiate this u and we're going to integrate dv. What is the derivative of x cubed? 3x squared, power rule. What is the derivative of 3x squared? 6x. What is the derivative of 6x? 6. What is the derivative of 6? 0. Whenever you came to 0, you're done. What is the antiderivative of e to the x? e to the x. So all the way down e to the x. Because antiderivative of e to the x is again e to the x. After that, we're going to make our arrows starting from first to second. as in the picture. And our signs will be starting from positive, negative, positive, negative. Now all we have to do is just to multiply these two terms. x cubed times e to the x is x cubed e to the x. They are positive. Next sign is negative sign. So negative 3x squared times e to the x. 3x squared e to the x. Next sign is positive plus 6x e to the x. 6x times e to the x. 6x e to the x. And next sign is negative. 6 times e to the x. 6 e to the x. Plus c. So this is how tabular method is done. So you can apply tabular method if your u is, if you can take the derivative of u up to zero, as in the table. Thank you for watching. See you at the next video.